What's up, YouTube? On this episode of Cariwampa Overland, we take you with us to the Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion 2023. We don't need a destination. Let's go where the river's taking us. 2023 was the 11th year for the Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion in Pigeon Forge. And the crowd was much bigger. There were a lot more Jeeps and a lot more vendors at this year's event. Go along with us as we walk you through some of the vendors, not only on the outside, but on the inside, and we show you a few special items along the way. We arrived early one morning to get in to view some of the vendors before the, all the crowds show up so we can show you a little more detail. One of the first booths that we stopped by was the x -Craig Campers booth. They brought four different campers here along with a huge assortment of retail products. They even brought the Expedition Voyager that we had with us along our Wyoming trip here in 2023. We continued walking up and down the outside aisles and there were vehicles, wheels, tires, pretty much anything you could imagine you could find on the outside of this event. As we made our way up and down the aisles, our friends from Rhino USA wanted to make sure we knew that they were carrying us with them along their travels. They also showed us something a little special that's coming out soon. Tool bag and make it a camp kitchen. So this is the new camp kitchen. Not for sale yet. It's like that you can hang it that way if you want. So what we did is took the tool roll, kind of blew it out, put a spot for a cutting board, put stuff for all your whatever, put some um, knife sheaths so you don't mess up your bag with your sharp knives. We put spot for all your seasons over here because I got tired of digging them out of my little thing. This side, silverware and stuff comes off, take to the table, got all your silverware. Big pocket at the bottom for your big tools. And also hang here's how I hang it like this off the axe and you got everything nice and neat and when you're done just fold it up so so many people using that tool roll like a camp kitchen then yeah that's pretty solid I just built this one that is awesome they'll probably be mm, 60 or 70 bucks Okay. In the next 30 days. Uh, Only on our website. I'm going to sell that on Amazon. Well, you've seen it here, folks. That's the first time it's ever been seen right there. <laughs> awesome. <laughs>
by this point, they were starting to open the gates and letting folks in. And the other thing that was happening at this time was the show trucks were starting to roll in for the show and shine. The show and shine is a huge part of the event every year, and it gives all of the customers who have really worked up their Jeeps a chance to put them out here and show them off. As we made the walk down toward the inside part of the LeConte Center, we couldn't believe how many people were standing in line to get in. Inside, we were honored to have the truck back in the Dan Cummins booth in the middle of the inside again. It was truly an honor to have our Gladiator in the Dan Cummins booth. By this point, the inside of the Lecomte Center was starting to get pretty busy. There was still a huge amount of people outside just waiting to get in. Dan Cummins' Jeep brought the only 2024 Wrangler that was on the property for the show. It was really cool to see all the new upgrades, such as the new infotainment center and a complete new dash. On the outside, there's a few changes too, but the most notable is the grill update. Dead Cummins has several 2024s on stock, or if you want something special, you can definitely custom order whatever you want. A big thanks to the police officers and security guards that keep things flowing smooth throughout the event. He's so cute. Another traditional piece at the event is the squirrel riding in the Jeep. Now let's take a walk through the inside of the vendors area. One of the vendors that we learned a lot from this weekend was Yeti Steer Smarts. Just want to give you a quick overview of who we are. We're a steering manufacturer that's out of Detroit, Michigan. It's all U.S. made. We make everything just outside of Detroit, Michigan through Northwest Ohio. So good American made quality. Everything is manufactured here. We forge everything in Northwest Ohio. We utilize uh, steel on steel bolt going on all of our sockets. If you have any questions about steering, looking to get rid of things like death wobble or sloppy steering, check us out at steersmarts.com.
Hey, I'm Jeff with Ratchet Wrangler. I'm going to show you how this works real quick. Real simple solution for your tie down. You just take your strap, roll it loosely around your hand so you can easily peel it off just like so. As you can see, I've already loaded my ratchet component inside there. Whoop. Good news is if you drop it, it's real simple to start all over again. Take that, slide her down in there. Take that balled up strap. You're going to slide it in with it. Take your hook, pass it through the lid and fold it over and you're ready to go. That's how simple the ratchet wrangler works. Now, a couple things. You can hang it by a carabiner if you want. And because it's in a compressed area, it's not going to allow itself to get tangled up or messy. So when you're ready to use it, you just roll your lid back, grab your hook, pull it out, and it's going to come out nice and clean like that in one time. The expo itself came to a close Saturday evening, and that's when everybody closed up and made their way out of the venue. The official event may have ended, but the cruise had just started. Every night during this event, the parkway ends up being a cruise strip, and that's where everybody goes, sets their lawn chairs up, and hangs out for the evening. We hope you've enjoyed riding along with us to the Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion in 2023, and we sure hope to see you there in 2024. Until next time, see ya.